<laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Um, I'm having really fun actually sniping cold recently. I don't know if that's just me or any of you guys either. But this is my best Pellington build that I've found that is actually a little bit better than the Tundra in some ways. Um, I do use Gunfighter just so I can get the extra two perks. Um, extra two thingies. Like the magazine and the body. Okay, so first, for the muzzle, I'll use the Stabilizer 308. Um, it's just better than all the other ones, because it's I, it, I, all the other ones either give your ADS is worse, or your bullet velocity. This is kind of a hit markering sniper, and if you aim for the stomach. So you're going to need the bullet velocity, and obviously, you're going to need the ADS, because... I mean, you could use the Flash Hider. These are the only two. But idle sway control makes it more accurate, so you, as soon as you aim in, you don't sway all over the place. And I believe when you hold down, like when you hold your breath to snipe, and then you know how it goes like flying all over the place, I feel like that also helps with that also, at the same time. And for the barrel, uh, 26.5 inch Tiger Team, obviously. I know on true game data it says that this gives you 50% bullet velocity, and this gives you 75, and that's it. But, I mean, this is just ammo, right? This only gets rid of, like, ammo, starting ammo, and the max ammo you're able to hold. Which, I mean, sucks, but you get damage. Like, just straight-up damage. All throughout the whole body. Fire rate, which is great. Reload quickness and bullet velocity. Everything else... If you don't have the Tiger Team, I'd rather you... I would... You should either use the combat or the reinforced if you don't have the tiger team. Uh, for the body, I use the tiger team spotlight. Um, I don't like using the SOF target designator because to reveal, the reveal distance means that it puts a little red dot above their head whenever you're looking at them. Your crosshair goes over them. But for this one, you have to ADS for it to work. So you have to aim down your sniper and then you're able to see the red dot, which is kind of like defeats the point, right? You because you, you have to see that. Yeah, you're gonna see them. You're gonna see the person before you see the red dot over their head. So that's kind of useless. Um, if you don't have the tiger team, uh, just use the mounted uh, flashlight. But I mean, the sprint to fire time does go down, but it, this really is worth it. Trust me. Underbarrel, um, infiltrator grip. This is personally my favorite. I like this one. Move speed, shooting move speed, ADS, walking speed. Um, I know the bruiser grip does, says it does more, but I've tested them myself, and I just feel more comfortable with the infiltrator. Uh, you can try using that, but I just like the infiltrator more. Uh, for magazine, just seven round. If you're doing 1v1s with friends and stuff in like a private game, use the fast loader. Uh, if you're doing like private games with their friends use a fast loader but i just use the uh seven round so i can hit that because it starts off with five bullets so if you want to get a quad feed and you miss two well you're just only gonna get a triple so uh handle i use the airborne elastic um i know the serpent wrap says it does more it does twice as much as 12 percent and this does worse sprint to fire time um i actually I've tested these, and they're, they seem about the same, ADS-wise. Spent to fire time, I don't really notice that that much, but flinch resistance really does help, because these snipers really suck ass in this game. Yeah, 550.35 milliseconds to aim down it fully. Uh, stock use the marathon pad. Um, I can get rid of the details. Hit fire accuracy, if you're going for no scopes, you can just use the CQB, because that says the same thing, just a lot less uh, sprint to fire time. So that makes up for this. Where is it? Yeah, it makes up for the 15%, because you get. You're essentially getting 30% here. Essentially. Right? Uh, there used to be a secret attachment with the hangman rf where it would give you faster ads let's just actually test that now yeah 
No, it's the exact same. Okay. Because this actually used to... This optic used to lower your FPS. Not your FPS, your ADS. But it doesn't anymore. So anyway, that's my Pellington build. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a Tundra builder after this.